In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace this combination switch on this Ram 1500. If you need parts for your vehicle, you can get those at 1AAuto.com. Let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is disconnect the battery. We're going to start by disconnecting the negative terminal. Use a 10 millimeter wrench. Loosen up this nut. Just grab the terminal and slide it off. And disconnect the hood release handle. Underneath here there is a tab. I'm just going to use some needle nose pliers. You're going to grab the tab, pull it down, and then push it back. You can see right here, that's where the little tab is. So we're grabbing this tab. Pull that down, and that releases it. You might be able to get in there with a screwdriver. Just pry it down, and then slide this back. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, take this screw out. There's another one. Take the other one out on the other side. Just grab this panel, and just pull outward. Just like that. And there is some wires still connected. We're just gonna leave those connected on the ground. Using a T20 driver, we're going to take these screws out. Slide that out. There's another one right in the center. And another one right here on the opposite side. Grab this panel, just pull it down, get it past the lever, it slides right off. Take this down, take the top panel off, disconnect the connector right here, just push down on the terminal, it slides off. And there's a little tab over here, a little lock tab, push that in. And that switch slides right out. Take the new switch, line it up, lock it in place, and take the connector and lock that in place. And take the top panel, slide that in place. Take the bottom panel and line that up. Get it over the adjuster, snap the panels together, there we go, put the screws in, get those started, snug it down, do the same on the other ones. Smaller screw. Right there. All right, snug that down. Take this panel, slide this in place. That's good. Put the lower screws in. Snug those up. The hood release. Line that up. And just push it forward. It should lock in place. Now take the negative side, push that on, make sure it's all the way down, and we'll tighten this side. Snug that down, give it a wiggle, that's good and tight. So I hope this video helped you out, and if you need any parts for your rim, head over to 1AAuto.com, then you can watch our other videos to help you with your installs. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.